Good evening, everyone. Welcome. I'm so glad you could all join us tonight. This is the annual members meeting for the student chapter of the Society of American Archivists here at San Jose State University. We're here to, to talk about SAASC, what it is, what it does, and how you can be involved. Uh, before we begin, I just want you to know that at the end we will have a question and answer session. Uh, you can uh, type in your questions in the chat box or you can wait until the end and ask us directly. Our student chapter is open to any student with an interest in archives. That's important to know. And I did mention earlier, I will later on, that becoming a men member of a group is very simple. Um, you, you, you go on Canvas and just self-enroll yourself to the group. So archival issues and conversations are relevant in libraries, museums, and many other areas of the information profession. So even if you follow another pathway, you may want to take an interest in what our group is doing. We also include um, people who are getting their degree in uh, Master of Archives and Records Information. Uh, last year we had an online seminar on how to prepare for the exam and we plan to do that again next year. Uh, there we go. Okay, that's me in the middle. Uh, Ashley, our secretary. Uh, and then uh, we have a vacancy for vice chair. Um, we only have three members on our executive committee and I was actually uh, elected um, vice chair uh, uh, last spring. But our chair uh, had to step down a couple of weeks ago. I mean, it's all good news for her because she got this new job, uh, which is great, but you know, a little hard for us. But we're going to be uh, talking about um, you know what we do with events and so on, and and that's really the vice chair's role uh, as the event co coordinator and planner. So let me move on. Okay, I do want to recognize Lori Lindbergh. Uh, she is our faculty advisor. She couldn't make it to our meeting, but she's been uh, here many, many years. Uh, well, 18 exactly, uh, as a lecturer in the um, iSchool. And Carly, you're there, right? Hi. <laughs> Carly's with us. Hello. She's the new University Archives archivist. And that is so exciting. I, Carly, if I can invite you to say a few words. Okay, now that I got help making my mic work, you can hear me? Yeah. Yep. Okay, so I just, uh, I'd asked, well, start with, I am not only the university archivist, but I'm actually the first full-time university archivist that San Jose State has had. So I have a big job ahead of me, but a really exciting job. And uh, one of the things that I really want to make sure I'm focusing on is uh, documenting the work that student organizations are doing. And that was one of the reasons that I, thank you, that was one of the reasons that I wanted to uh, sit in on this meeting and be connected to the SAA student chapter because, well, you are a student organization and so I'm hoping you can give me some insight into that experience here. Uh, but also I'm hoping there might be opportunities for uh, archive students here to be involved with the process of uh, figuring out how to document all of the great things that are happening across campus. So I'm very excited to be here. I'm also happy to be a resource uh, having just graduated with my MLIS, been through an online program and you know survived the job market. I'm, I'm always happy to be a resource um, finding internships or any, you know, resume reading, any advice that anyone in the group might need. Yeah, we're so happy about that. It's really exciting for us, you know, <laughs> a real university archivist for our, you know, our university and that, you know, you're new. So I understand you're, you have to develop a whole program from the ground up. Yes, the main goal of my first at least three years is going to be establishing a records management program. The university CSU system actually has a records retention schedule, but I reviewed it and the only documents that are required to come to the archive are, are from 
the office of the president. And I think there's a lot more important things. Obviously, those documents are important, but there's a lot more important things happening or additionally important things happening on campus. Uh, so I'm hoping that to develop a program that will involve, um, yeah, just documentation from more corners of the university's work uh, coming, coming to be available in the archive. Yeah, well, we look forward to hearing more. And you did say you were open to like, having an online event like this and talking to us? Very much, yes. Oh, that's great. So yeah, here we are. We're under construction to build an amazing team. Um, yeah, so we are missing the vice chair, but also that's, you know, we're pretty thin on the ground with only three members of the executive committee. And we do, we do a whole lot for our group. There's a lot we do. We have many events online and site visits, and uh, we publish the Archeota, um, pub you know, uh, online publication. So a lot of work and a lot of interesting things to do. So I created a little poll, and I'm gonna start that now. If you guys can kind of take a look at that, I'll give you a minute or so. It says start. Okay, going forward. Obviously, career development is on top. That's not surprising. Uh, yeah, anyone who hasn't can keep on voting. Uh, meeting archival professionals, yes. Current trends, internship, internships, volunteer opportunities. Well, that's kind of expected. I think we're all interested in everything. And uh, we're going to try to, you know, accomplish all of that and give people what they need for their interest. So definitely um, meeting archival professionals. Uh, that's why we have online events. Uh, one will be, you know, with Carly, which is great, but we also, we've had other ones like panel discussions. For example, I know in the spring they had uh, different archivists from corporate, uh, in corporate settings. And then current trends, yeah, we really, want to, um, especially in our social media, which Ashley will be talking about. And internships, volunteer opportunities, uh, that's, a, that's the other part of social media. We really want to, you know, the big purpose of that is to get people connected, you know. Not everyone can monitor everything, but, you know, we intend to monitor things, and then when things come up, you know, post them, you know, and if you follow our accounts, that you'll have that information. You know, uh, kind of archives. Okay, all of the above. Okay, that's me too. <laughs> so, yeah, again, we have multiple, you know, interests, and we do do try to program for all of them. You know, so that's what we've done in the past, and we'll continue to do that. Now, this is what I was really interested in, in looking at was this, um, where people are. Because I know with distance learning, we're, you know, we're scattered all over the place. I think even a couple semesters ago, there was someone who was, you know, teaching English in Columbia or something, she, uh, and she was in the program. So, right. Okay, so 10 in San Francisco area, 16 here in LA, 15 San Diego, 7 Sacramento, and other. And that's why we have online, well, one of the reasons we have online events. We don't want to, you know, not give opportunities to people who aren't um, in California. Uh, you can nominate yourself. Um, so, one of these is for a webmaster. And this is for someone to help us with updating the layout and design of our website and arranging the content so people can more easily navigate the site. And then it's about visibility too. We want to raise our profile in the iSchool community. Uh, we do use Weebly, so we're not expecting this person to be able to code. Site coordinators. Um, Ashley's in Connecticut, I'm in LA, and in the past as well, it all really depends upon where the um, officers live. And we've got to do, you know, I want to do something where, you know, let's get more sites in, you know, 
But if we are able to go, say, uh, a site in Sacramento, or a site in San Diego, or a site in San Francisco, San Jose, we need people on the ground. Assistant editor for their Archeota. I'm gonna talk more about that later, the publication. Uh, so let me let Ashley, Ashley, you ready to take over and start you know, talking about social media and then you know what role a, a social media uh, assistant would do? As Kelly mentioned, I'm the secretary and I also have the um, opportunity to work with the social media aspect of our um, student chapter. So we have a couple different platforms that we're currently on. Facebook is one of them where it's kind of more open-ended and anyone can post. We have a Twitter account and then we also have our website. And so the social media assistant would be um, someone who would help with monitoring those accounts, posting information about events, um, helping us to kind of create a content calendar. Um, one of the ideas I had when I started was kind of making possibly themes for each month so we could um, highlight different things in the field as a fallback when we were looking for things to retweet or publish. Um, maybe having a theme each month to help um, generate ideas and kind of related to different things that were going on like um, I had an idea of like doing September as Labor Day since it's um, archival labor and something that's often discussed and something to highlight in different articles. Um, we have archives where this month and so on in October. And so this person would really get to be hands on in that and helping us also. I would love for them to have feedback in um, kind of our larger discussion of like our community guidelines and just kind of getting that um, sort of as something we can refer to um, as like best practices for the web. And um, our predecessors have a pretty good document lined up, but just kind of taking a look at that it reflects um, updated language and values and that type of thing. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a great opportunity. And so far I've enjoyed doing it. It's just a lot for one person to handle. So we're kind of like trying to get more folks involved so that, that later on there's an opportunity to maybe expand the eboard and include different positions to help because it is a lot of work for one person to undertake by themselves. And we really don't want them to be bogged down with a lot of extra work because we know like people are working, they have families, they're going to school. So if anyone is interested, that would be so great. I would really appreciate the help in um, monitoring these things because I really think there's a lot of stuff getting, that kind of falls through the crack and kind of mo um, monitoring these websites and platforms can be a lot for one person, so. Moving on to site tours. I've actually said quite a bit about those already, but um, yeah, these are, you know, you're not going to get these opportunities elsewhere in, in, in many uh, instances. Um, every year, um, and our group goes to the Huntington Library in Pasadena and online events. Um, yes, Car Carly, we, we're so looking forward to um, learning more about, you know, uh, her position here at uh, SJSU as the university archivist. And also, you know, I think it's really interesting to me that she is the first um, uh, in this position. So, but yes, it, it will be really interesting because she's developing an archival program for the university. All right, so Archeota, that is our semi-annual open source digital publication. It goes out in the spring, in the spring and in the fall. So it's for the students and by the students. And, and you know, some of you may know about the Student Research Journal. Um, that's quite different because uh, the articles that go in that are academic papers and they're peer reviewed. We're just, you know, what's interesting in archives. And that can be a lot of different things. That may be, um, and we're looking for contributors. You know, everyone is welcome to contribute to uh, the publication. So membership is free. And I've mentioned a couple of times, it's not hard to become a member. 
really the basics are, you know, you go on Canvas and one of your courses, um, it's iSchool Advising and Administration is always going to be on your course um, tab. Full membership, I'll go what does full membership means? Well, that requires membership in our parent organization. Oh, anyone who's starting out, this is really important. You can get a free year's membership in the parent organization. Joining the group is really easy. You just log into Canvas. Um, you go to the iSchool Advising and Administration site, which is found under the Courses and Groups tab. Um, select People from the menu on the left, and then click on the Groups tab at the top and find um, SAA in the list, and then just click Join and you're a member of SAASC. Um, yeah, I can say, being a member of SAA, I've been able to use, you get the um, annual publication, um, American Archivist, for free. That has really great articles, information about the annual. Um, okay, what is SAA? Well, you can, you can, uh, you can learn a lot uh, from visiting their, their website. I just want to say a little bit about them. I think, I think they're a great group and you don't, you know, you don't have to be a member either to visit their website and look at some of the, the activities uh, they're doing. And they're just a great source of information you can get on um, from, you know, follow them on Twitter or Facebook or whatever it is. Um, and more to the benefits of the SAA. Uh, they do publish a journal, the American Archivist. Uh, you get a, a subscription for their newsletter. The offered discounts, and if you're planning on going to any, you know, workshops or uh, the annual uh, meetings, you do get uh, the discount. We have our email. Anybody with any questions about anything we said tonight, anyone who wants to um, talk about, you know, what are the positions, what are you, you know, what are you looking for, and what, you know, anything more about them. Uh, we have a question from Sarah about the roles of the assistant editor, editor of Archeota? Mm, yeah, well, you know, that's all new to me too. I, I mentioned that I contributed uh, an article for the spring issue. I think you learn a lot from going back to the issues and that, that is on our, uh, on our website. And I really encourage you to look at that, you know, look at the spring issue, um, you know, and you can look at past issues too. Thank you everyone for coming tonight. We really appreciate your joining us and we hope you've learned a lot about our student chapter and that you may be interested in getting involved or following us on social media. Uh, we really appreciate your attendance and we wish you good luck with your classes this semester. Thank you so much. Good night.